Hello and welcome to my little tutorial on setting up a Yorkso build environment on Ubuntu. Uh, I'm using Proxmox as a hardware hypervisor and will be already have installed Ubuntu on here. Now we will go to Google and type in Yocto Quick Start Guide. Uh, that link here. Then we will scroll down to the requirements, which we will install. After you install the requirements, scroll down to uh, and copy this here to get Pocky. Uh, once you got Pocky, you will be able to run. We can switch into the Pocky directory and run source OE int build environment, which will set up the build environment, which we need to start toaster. After this, we can start toaster with now that you have started Toaster, you can navigate with the browser to the specified port on the machine. If you are lo using it locally, just go to localhost. The standard port would be 8000, so you can then set up your first build, which I will do right here. I will use the master branch of Yocto for this. Let's call it recipe. We want, let's say, we want to have a Raspberry Pi. Then we will select the Raspberry Pi. I want to run the Raspberry Pi in in ARM64 mode and install the meta layer for that. Select the machine and then go ahead and use the core base image. Build the recipe. Once the build is completed, I will show you how to change it over since the build will take a long time. I'm running this on an already an environment that already built something, so we will be able to do this much, fa much faster. We'll be right back after this is built and then we will set it up so we can deploy it to the Raspberry Pi. After all of this is done and your CPU was pinned to absolute maximum while running the build, build process, you will get the screen like this and now you can... After this toaster will work way way faster since, bit, uh, since you don't have to everything from source again. Uh, to deploy to the Raspberry Pi, you have to add image fs type, uh, go to bitback variables, add image fs type, Raspberry Pi image, and build it again. After this is done, I will be back. Once you've done all of that, uh, you now can download Raspberry Pi SD image by clicking on here and downloading the Raspberry Pi SD image just by via your browser. And then you can deploy it with uh, either a SD card writer, uh, DD or anything else like you would deploy any any other Raspberry Pi image. Thanks for watching and leave a like if you liked it, share it and build some great devices.